Hi, Hi friends of the twins. twins, welcome back to our channel. Well, well, how are you all doing? <laughs> I knew she was going to say that. <laughs> we hope that you all are doing wonderfully and having a fabulous Wednesday night. Yes, it is Wednesday, the middle of the week, two more days to go. We took a little time to, or we may make sure to make some time to come on and just say hello to y'all mm -hmm. we haven't talked to y'all in a while mm -hmm. we really appreciate all of the love that we get on the walkthrough we do and we 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 love doing the walkthroughs mm -hmm. but we also love spending time with you all as well yep so it was about time for us to come and sit and chat and mm -hmm. have a little girl time Mm -hmm. And got to because we do have we do have male. some male followers. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Tonight we're actually going to be sharing with y'all a haul, a home decor haul, mm -hmm. one of our favorite things. Mm -hmm. Yep, uh, it's going to be exclusively Ross. Y'all know Ross has been killing the game. Ross has been killing the game. They lately. have really stepped it up, mm -hmm. and I get tickled because. When I go and film the Ross walkthroughs, I go and I stay empty handed. I don't get a buggy or anything like that. But Miss Thing here, as mm -hmm. soon as she goes in the store, I get me a cart. She gets her a cart and um, yeah, it can get you in. It can get you in trouble. Just a little mm -hmm. bit, not, not bad mm -hmm. trouble y'all, not, mm -hmm. not bad trouble, it's good trouble. There mm -hmm. is there is such a thing as good, good and bad trouble. trouble. So this is good trouble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we want to tell you all thank you, thank you, thank you mm -hmm. so much for all of you supporting our shorts videos. Mm -hmm. We do see you all in the comments mm -hmm. and we really, really appreciate it. Our second thank you goes out to all of our brand new subscribers. Thank you for choosing to be an official friend of the twins. We really appreciate your support. And I also wanna say thank you to everyone that left me comments concerning the community post that I put out when I was asking like, what do y'all want to see? Of course, you know, we, we, we have gotten the feedback and we know that you all are enjoying the walkthroughs That's and your right. girls are enjoying them just as much as y'all are. We oh, are. My we gosh. Are. We really enjoy those. But from the comments, you all are thinking just like we've been thinking. Shonda and I, we are missing our sneaky store styling. styling. We're going to get back to that. We are going to get yep. back to that. We definitely have plans to start that back up really, really soon. Mm -hmm. No better time to do it than springtime when everything else is blossoming and blooming and rebirthing and <laughs> perennials are coming back for another season. So our <laughs> sneaky store styling is going to be rebirthed yep and also the door chronicles mm -hmm. gonna bring that back you all love the fashion videos sean and i love those too mm -hmm. just all the things that we've been missing decorating we're still going to be doing decorating we actually have some spring tours that are coming up inside and outside of the house so uh, yeah we've been really busy <laughs> around here and we will be so happy to share it all with you coming soon all right without further ado your girls we're gonna get right on into the haul like i said tonight's haul is exclusively from ross ross everything you see comes from ross so uh you want to go first miss thing i'll start now miss mm -hmm. thing has not been buying a lot y'all when i go and do the walkthroughs i don't buy a whole lot mm -hmm. you know um so, but I am going to share with y'all, I just have two things that I'm going to share with y'all that I have picked up that caught my eye and I absolutely love. The first thing is this. Hold that one for that me. That is a beauty. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Y'all know that I'm a black and white girl. And so when I saw these sitting on the marble base, this is metal, heavy. It's heavy. Absolutely love these. And I, we are going to 
share with you where how we styled it, where you know where we end up putting these things that we're sharing tonight. Mm -hmm. We're gonna share with you where we end up. Where we end up putting, them. yeah, yeah. So these were how much? For these us? were y'all twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. They are heavy, y'all. And one thing I want to say That's a close up look Yep About these Is that I haven't seen these anywhere Else I've only seen these This, this one time And when we film We're not always in the same location And, and that is the fun part of it I told y'all before, it's always so much fun to me when I go into a store and just say you have brought, you have bought, um, you picked up a set of mugs. Mm -hmm. You found the mugs. Well, you may go to another store in a different location and you may find the matching plates mm -hmm. for the mug. That the you matching didn't... teapot yeah, or anything. You, you didn't even know that those pieces existed. Mm -hmm. That's why we would encourage you all, you know, if, you, if your Ross is not popping, like a lot of y'all tell me that you don't find a lot of things at your Ross. The first tip, remind y'all, ask the store employees, the manager, associates, mm -hmm. what days the truck comes and what days do they restock? And then if you're able to be there, be there on those days. And don't don't be scared to venture out, you know, maybe an hour away mm -hmm. from your home or even two hours. I mean, Rhonda and I love to just get in the car and ride and we take road trips all the time yeah that's but just a girl time road trip for road us road truck gives us time to talk and eat and laugh and everything else but what i love about this piece is it looks like a beautiful purse yeah it does it does it looks like a beautiful purse so yeah i can't wait to play with these i'm gonna i'm gonna figure out where i'm actually gonna put these but i'm excited y'all know y'all know y'all know how much i love the black and the white yeah this is gorgeous all right, so the next thing that's going to be shown is something of mine, and I received it as a gift. From who? From Rink. Rink. More like she took it. It's a gift, y'all. It, it's a gift. Is it a gift if you take it? Friends. I didn't steal it. She didn't steal it, but she took it. Let me tell y'all, this was a piece that when I saw it, I... You know, sometimes, oftentimes, when when I find a special piece, uh -huh. it's like I get little chill bumps. <laughs> and that's how I felt when I saw this piece. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know where I was going to put it, but I just knew that it was special. And so I brought it home with me. Well, when little sister here saw it, she felt the same way that I did. I knew that I had to have it. And yeah. it is this gorgeous gorgeous piece of home decor it is made out of wood and what is this in the middle like almost like a mother of pearl in gold that's what it looks like and it is a bowl it's a bowl and it's from is it india look at look at that look at that it is wooden yeah is that in india i absolutely love it it is no Indonesia. Indonesia. It looks like an Indonesian piece. Yeah, that is is just beautiful. This mother of pearl, mother of pearl look here is a, like a light gold color, mm -hmm. and then just the the natural elements of the wood. Mm -hmm. I saw it and I just absolutely fell in love with it. She did too, but. She ended up bringing it home with her, but honestly, y'all, I really didn't mind. Like I said, it was just a special piece to me, but mm -hmm. I didn't really know where I was going to put it. Well, she knows that I love wood. I yeah. love raw and natural wood. And it actually mm -hmm. fits her home better than mine. Better than so, her. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this particular piece was $17.99. I just could not believe it when I saw the price. That's what we're saying. Ross has been on it lately. This is another piece. I haven't seen this anywhere else. This is large. I don't think the camera's doing it justice. Mm -hmm. And it's heavy. It's heavy. I haven't seen this at any other raw stores. I've only seen it this one time. I haven't seen it again. Now, I have seen this in a smaller, kind of much smaller. I actually saw it at Home Goods, and the smaller one cost more than this one. Wow. The smaller one was like $24.99, but it was probably a little bit more than half the size of this one because this is huge. It is heavy. This is just a beautiful piece. It is. I it is. It. And it, it is mine. It's hers. 
My next and last pieces that I'm gonna share with y'all actually were found recently. I was recently out in Houston, Texas, but before I got to Houston, we came through Meridian, Mississippi, and we actually stopped to eat, and your girl looked back. There was a plaza behind us. We were at the Chick-fil-A, and there was a Ross there. So of course, I was gonna take the opportunity to stop at Ross. And yes. when I went in, this is what caught my eye. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yes. It's more like that champagne gold. Champagne gold with the marble mm -hmm. base. It's heavy, it's beautiful. Yep. $16.99. I can't believe it. And not, she didn't just get one, as you all know. Mm -hmm. She got two. Got two. Them. And these are also ones that I haven't seen anywhere yet. Now, I've been back not quite two weeks from my recent travels. So, I haven't seen this yet. I did go out to Ross earlier today, but mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't see this. I will probably venture out to another location. And, um, you know, I'll have to let y'all know if I see these, but... These were others that I just felt like were kind of special. Mm -hmm. I love the texture on it. That's what it looks like on the back. Yeah. And so I thought that these were kind of special. I love these. I cannot wait to style these. I think they're just so pretty. Mm -hmm. It's a thumbnail picture. So the next item that I want to show you, I am in Ross one evening and I am filming for you all and just piddling around. And this is the reason why I always get me a cart. Because when I came upon this big beauty, I had a fit. And it's this. See how big that is? It is a tray. Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. it's huge. And so I just got me a cart. That's why I just get it when I go in the front door. No need to go running around trying to backtrack and find the cart. I already had it. And this big beauty, I love it because the, the handles are wooden. And of course, this is gold. I, I see it as a serving tray. Actually, my first thought when I saw it was I can put me and Boo Daddy a bottle of wine, some wine glasses, some fruit, some cheese, whatever kind of food. I can serve this. You know, we do dates in the house. I don't know. Y'all leave, leave us a comment in the comment section if you do dates inside the house. And that's what I saw with this, but there are so many ways that I could use this tray. But the beauty, the most beautiful part about this tray is, as big as it is, it was only $21.99. So I had to have it. Look at that. You could use this at Thanksgiving. You could put the whole turkey on there yeah. with all the fixings and everything. Y'all see the wooden handles? Mm -hmm. Now, with me, when it comes to trays, of course, you can use them in the typical sense. But one thing that I like to do, too, is kind of, some may consider it old school, because I know we used to do it back in the day, but y'all know I've told y'all. Twin Sissy and I, we do things that make us happy in our home. Yep. We don't care about what the trends say or mm -hmm. what folks say we you're supposed to be We don't care what doing. it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I would, if I wanted to feature this, I would stand it up. Stand I would it set up. it, you know, mm -hmm. on a, a plate holder. Set, I would stand this up and I would probably have something in front of it. Maybe a beautiful floral, you know, your girl likes flowers. Mm -hmm or some other kind of decor accent mm -hmm. that would contrast with this and accent at the same time. So just just love it. And I have seen this before. Y'all, it comes in multiple sizes. I do believe that, I know that this is the largest one. Mm -hmm. There is. It's a set of these? It's not, you know, it's not a set, but there are 
other sizes. Other sizes. Okay. There are two other sizes, the medium and the small one. Wow. Yeah, I saw these and they are beautiful. Well, I didn't, I, had I seen the other two sizes, I'm sure that I would have gotten all three. Well, you know, uh, Big Sister will be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. You know, yeah, when I, when, mm -hmm. I, when I see them, I'll, I'll call you like I always do. We, that, and that's one thing that we do when we're out and about. If she sees something that she knows will work for me, she'll call me. And, and I do the same thing, so that's good. So we're moving right along. And the next thing that I wanna show you came from our last thrift store outing, mm -hmm. which was probably a couple of weeks ago. We hadn't been in such a long time, but I'm so glad I went because I found this beauty. I absolutely love it. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Is it silver or gold or that mixture? It's a mixture, mixture of yeah. silver and gold it's with pretty. a little, little hints of rust in it. Yeah. And, and this can go anywhere. It can mm -hmm. go from the living room to the office, to the bathroom, to the kitchen, wherever. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I will put it somewhere. And the thing about it is it was only one of them. It didn't come in a set. <clears throat> but it was $12.99, so I just snatched it on up. And, you know, sometimes when you're out and you see one piece, you know, you don't have an idea where you're going to get it, and Rhonda taught me that. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and get it if, you, if it's something that you like, because as you're putting your rooms together, refreshing or renovating or whatever you're doing, you will definitely find a place for it. If yeah. you like it, you know, get it. Who can see this sitting on top of a mantle? Who can see this sitting on the hearth? You can feature this in the center of a table, make mm -hmm. it be like a centerpiece. Mm -hmm. I could see this, if I were gonna do it with a centerpiece, I would probably have some candle holders maybe on the side of it. Mm -hmm. I might group it on a tray. And then, I don't know, I don't know. I would just have a lot of fun playing with this, but I can see how this you know be used. what I see what I can see is this sitting on my dining table in table. the kitchen yes and having Rhonda to make me some sort of close contact floral arrangement <laughs> that just kind of cascades yeah. down and yep. fans out onto my table just fabulosity yeah just keep mm -hmm. this as the feature piece but mm -hmm. just kind of accent it a accent little bit mm -hmm. yeah I can see that so I was happy to get find this piece is this for my last this is our this last is our last yeah. mm -hmm. i think that i have some footage we do we, we did theme. film a yeah. theme. we filmed for you in there because we do have people that uh love to see us go into the thrift store mm -hmm. so we we did film for you and so we have that coming to you too yes yeah, it won't be a long video mm -hmm. but we'll just short we'll we'll share with y'all the things that caught our eye and we wanted to share with y'all mm -hmm. you know the things that we filmed so. yes so you remember how she took that pretty wooden bowl from me well I actually took something from her. She always takes things from me. Remember Daisy? <laughs> she actually went, filmed a walkthrough and saw something that was just beautiful and didn't want to leave it. Mm -hmm. And when I saw it, I felt the same way. And I told her, uh, this one's coming to my house. Mm -hmm. I she told me when I sent it to her, a picture of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's mine. Mm -hmm. I claimed it. Mm -hmm. It is this. Isn't that pretty? I thought that it was beautiful. Yes, and tell them the most beautiful part about this piece, which was the price. Oh, the price? Y'all, y'all would not, y'all would not believe how much this is. $9.99. $9.99. When I saw that price on there, I immediately started looking for others to see if they had more yeah. in stock. I didn't see anyone bigger, none smaller. That was the only one that was there. Yeah. So, and this is more of a, 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 a more a brighter, brilliant, mm -hmm. brighter gold than the other. It's a little bit more than a champagne gold. 
and she was looking for more because she knows her big sister. I knew. I would absolutely love to have at least one more of these, mm -hmm. but honestly, I would like to have three of them. Mm -hmm. Three I, would be stunning. Three would be stunning, but mm -hmm. this is just so pretty, so pretty. And I haven't, I haven't seen this. I'm gonna be on the lookout for it, of course. Well, what I'm yeah. going to do, all because because I go to several different Rosses, mm -hmm. and Rhonda does mm -hmm. too when she's by herself, and then we go to several yeah. when we're together. Yeah. So we would definitely be on the lookout, and you know, hey, let us know if you see this anywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm out again this past week, and I saw something, and I should have gotten it the night that I saw it, but I didn't. Fortunately for me, when I went back even two days later, they were still in place. And it was these beauties from India. Looky, looky, looky. Isn't this gorgeous? It is heavy, it is metal, the base is marble, and the price was $19.99. There were two of them in the store, so I got both of them. Where are you gonna put them? I have no idea, but these would definitely be going somewhere. To me, these are like statement pieces. This is just, I just love them. I think I think that here in Shonda's house where, we're definitely gonna play with it and see mm -hmm. where, where she likes them the mm -hmm. most, but y'all remember the curtains that I had that she, brought here mm -hmm. I gave to her I think that they would be beautiful curtains in, in her living mm -hmm. room I think so too yeah. I think so too so this color is like a bronzed metal color yeah. it's not bright gold or anything it kind of looks like black is in the center mm -hmm. a little but it, it looks also looks bronze these yeah. are definitely my colors that I like in the house I like the muted golds I like the vintage golds and I love the bronze. So this just caught my eye. It was two of them and I just got both of them. Yeah, so now, they, they remind me of those curtains. I mm -hmm. think they'll be good in her They are place. heavy and... But how many of y'all can also see these on this table? How many of y'all can see them back there sitting on that buffet? So, you know, your choices are just kind of kind of endless. They're very flexible and... Uh, just go just about anywhere. Can't go anywhere. Yeah. All right, y'all. So we're going to keep it moving. And this next pair of beauties came from Burlington. I went in one day. I saw them, but I was working that night. I was filming for you all, and I did not get them. And I'll tell you when it was. It was the Saturday before Easter Sunday. So the store was crowded, y'all. The line was down to almost to the back of the store. <laughs> but the beauty in all of that is nobody was in the home decor section. I had the whole section by myself. That's because they was getting their Easter dresses. They was getting their Easter dresses. <laughs> and so <clears throat> I knew that I would not be staying in there to stand in that no. line to purchase them that night, but I had to have them. So I called Rhonda. I said, listen, please go over to Burlington and purchase these two lamps that I wanted. And it is these. Isn't that pretty? I have a pair of them. This is that muted, pretty vintage looking gold that I like. And they were $24.99 each came with the lampshade. Now, you all know now, sometimes you can buy a lamp and there's no shade with it. You have to buy the shade separately, but this came with the shade on it. And I have an idea of where I'm going to put them probably in my living room. That's kind of where I'm leaning, but you know, they could actually go anywhere. Where did you say they're going in the living room? They'll probably go on my little table over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The sofa table? Yeah, sofa table maybe somewhere. All right, so the next thing that I want to share with you, the next two things kind of go together, but I have the first one and it is a throw rug, a accent rug. It is actually 48 by 72 and the soft, I bought it to actually go in my foyer, but y'all, I will not not 
be using it there and I'll tell you why. It is so soft under your feet until it is just too slick. slippery and slick. And I don't want to fall and I don't want any of my guests or anybody coming into my home to fall. So I will not be using it there. And guess what? Just like me and Rhonda like to think outside the box, I will be using this one plus this runner that she found for me. I'm going to use them as a throw on the a bed throw on or the on bed the back or of the sofa. You know, you know sofa that chair. Mm -hmm. The ones that have this backing and you can uh, use them as a throw or mm -hmm. as a floor covering. That's exactly what this is. And like she said, they are just, I think that they are better suited as a throw or something, you know, on mm -hmm. the back of a sofa or a chair or something because they're so soft. They're so soft to that ultra slick. They are <laughs> slick. She had slick. It. She had this big one down in the foyer and I came up here and I walked across it. I could I was just so tempted because mm -hmm. I knew how soft it was. It was right. kind of plush. Mm -hmm. Hmm. When I walked on this thing, my feet slid. I was like, ooh, this this is kind of slick. Mm -hmm. So this one for being 48 yeah. by 72, it was big enough for my foyer and it actually looked beautiful there. It does look beautiful. Mm -hmm. and, and I had actually yeah. taken this throw and put it over the back of the sofa that I have in the office so you could see both of them mm -hmm. together and they were just beautiful together. But it's too, it's too, too soft. slippery yeah mm -hmm. and there wasn't really much concern about the color of it with it being in the right. foyer you know with it getting dirty because y'all don't really use this door. we don't this. we don't use the front door much yeah. but anytime you come in my house you have to take your shoes, shoes off, off anyway. anyway so yeah but you don't you don't want anybody to be slipping and sliding. I don't want anybody to slide yeah. and do the James Brown slide yeah. as they come through the front door. So, so these are gonna no. become throws. Those. They actually remind me of those beautiful ones that I picked up at Burlington last holiday season mm -hmm. in gray. These remind me so much of right. those. These are right. really really plush and soft. They're just beautiful. They look don't they look luxurious. Soft? Yeah, this mm -hmm. the runner is six feet. And this one was nineteen ninety nine. Mm -hmm. So, so I'll probably put this on my bed or somewhere. Yeah, something like that. All right, y'all. So we are coming up on the end of the haul. This last thing that I want to share with you, I purchased it from Ross. I saw it one night that I was in there, and it kind of took my breath away. <laughs> I didn't have any idea of where I wanted to put it. So I've been playing around in the house, putting it different places. Cause I don't know. I just know that I want it somewhere. I just don't know where. It was $44.99 and it is metal wall art. And looky, looky, looky. This is a big one. This is a big yeah, this is, this a, big is a big one. I think this will be pretty in your living room. With those this curtains. might be pretty in my living room too. I don't know, but we, we definitely will be playing with these things that I purchased to see where they look best. And the beauty and the great thing about how I like to decorate kind of with neutral colors, with pops of color here and there, is that everything I buy can go in any room in my house and it'll all blend in. It makes it easier for me. Yeah. Does anybody have any spring projects that you're going to be getting into? I know I do. I have one. I do. You do too. I, I have uh, some DIY, a couple of DIY things that I want to get done around the house. Y'all, I've been talking about it for a year. I know, but I have not forgotten about my laundry room. I just kind of put it to the back burner or down the priority list a little bit because I know once I start in there, it's gonna take me a couple of days. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't really take too long, but it's gonna take me a couple of days because I, I'm, when I go into the laundry room, you know, there's pain to be done. There's some other little DIY things that I want done. So if, you know, I just keep kind of putting it down the list a little bit right. in favor of those things that I know I can kind of knock out in one day, which is, what I'm actually going to be getting ready to do. I have a couple of DIYs that 
will be done in a day. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do those. And I'm just so excited, just excited for the spring. Spring, yes, yeah. to see things beginning. My perennials are beginning to come in outside. And I am just so excited to hear the birds chirping and just everything, y'all. I have DIY projects planned as well. Uh, I tell y'all, Boo Daddy was cutting the grass a week ago and a rock popped up onto the front porch and hit my storm door. Shattered it to pieces. I remember you said that. And so I had to get me a new one. We already have the new one. I love it. I went ahead and got new hardware, new handle for it. I love it, love it, love it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There's one, kind of not really a major product, project because we are actually finished with all of the major projects that we needed to do since moving in the house. This is our sixth year here. There are still things that I would like done, but all of the major things have been done. But out in my lounge room coming up, we will finish the fireplace. I know you all have seen it. You saw it at Christmas time and I had my reindeer in front of it but it is not finished. So I can't wait to show you and share with you what we will be doing with that. Um, just other little things in the house. I have a, a room upstairs that you all have never seen. So there'll be things up there just throughout. You know, one thing that I like to do at the beginning of each springtime is take my paint. I give my house a good cleaning, the blinds and things, the vents. AC vents, you know, give them a good cleaning, your blinds, and I get me touch-up paint. Mm -hmm. And I go around my house and baseboards and little doors, scuffs. little scuffs mm -hmm. and marks. Touch-up paint will make your house look like a brand new house. So I, I plan to do that. I already bought my paint. I've begun to buy my flowers annuals for outside. So I'm, I'm yeah, I'm just excited about the spring. Yeah, for me, I haven't even done the porch yet but I'm getting ready to do the porch. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be coming up mm -hmm. for me. And I haven't done it because we just recently got rid of all of that pollen. Oh, oh my goodness. The pollen was so <laughs> thick here. Oh my gosh. So I said, there's no need in me going out, pressure washing the porch and then come back out the next day mm -hmm. and it's all covered in pollen again. So now that the pollen has kind of cleared out, now it's time I'll go out and I'll give a refresh to the front. And door. I actually just started buying annuals for outside this past mm -hmm. week because we live in Atlanta. And in Atlanta, it has been known to snow in April. So I always kind of wait until the middle or the end of April, if not the beginning of May, before I begin to really plant my annuals that I'm going to, you know, put up for the year. But it doesn't seem overwhelming this year. And that tells me that it's because of the things that we've the overwhelming years that we've had prior to this year. Mm -hmm. Now, all of my perennials are coming in, so I don't have a whole lot of flower yeah. beds to fill in. Stuff is just coming back, you know. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And because we're done with most of the things around the house, it's the not much to do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's just kind of fun. It's been relaxed, yeah. you know. Hey, Feels love good. it. Feels good. So that's going to wrap it up. We're going to go ahead and say good night to you all. Thank you once again for all of the love and support that you all continue to show us here on the channel. And thank y'all again for going over to Chrissy's channel mm -hmm. and supporting her. <laughs> if you haven't gone over to see her, the channel is Chris Luttrell. She is just so happy with all of you coming over and she's talking to you. And so thank y'all for doing that. You didn't have to do that, but mm -hmm. we appreciate it. Helping us to keep our baby from being homesick. She's just homesick. You all are just extended aunties and cousins mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. her and sisters and all. So thank you all for that. You know, I know a couple of you had left comments and I've tried to be sure to answer each and every one of you mm -hmm. on how to spell her name. Y'all were looking for the channel. And thank you for all of the beautiful comments that you've left about Nana's baby. <laughs> she is just growing up before my eyes on the videos. Mm -hmm. 
a lot of things by them not living here i get to just go through when you go through it so yep. you should feel just as special as i do that she's sharing all of that with you as well as me we watching it together mm -hmm. yeah so i'm seeing it for the first time too a lot of yeah. things she yeah. films everything about that baby and I, it's her first child mm -hmm. i would too all right friends as always make the life that you live a life that you love life is short peace peace out